Today, we're going to be giving you guys a full team of some of the most overpowered wonder kids in Football Manager 23. Some of these guys are overpowered because they're really quick. Some have great hidden attributes that you can't see without the in-game editor, but all of them are players I think will be great in your save, should perform well in the in-game engine, but also are pretty cheap and ones that you might not have heard of. I haven't gone for the obvious ones that everyone knows, like Bellingham, Kamavinga. Obviously, these guys are overpowered and very good in game but I've tried to pick some names that I think you won't know. If you do end up getting some use out of this video then please go ahead and smash that like button for us it really helps us out on the channel and helps the videos perform better. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel then go ahead and hit that button and finally comment down below who your most overpowered wonder kid is that way we'll have a list in the comments and I can maybe even make a part three from some of those comments because some of the ones included in this video were suggestions from part one which we did a few months ago before the winter update. So this is part two, completely brand new players of the most overpowered wonder kids in the game. Now I'm by no means saying that these are the only overpowered wonder kids and these are the best of the best. I've just picked 11 or 10 in this case because there's no goalkeeper that I think you guys would get great use out of, have great ability, but also great potential. And the first play we're looking at is the left-footed centre-back Maxime Decker, who plays for AZ Alkmaar out in the Netherlands. Now this player is very talented at centre-back. He's a left-footed ball-playing defender. Defender. It's something that's very much sought after in the world of football now, a ball-playing centre-back, particularly a left-footed one. He's very talented across all areas, six foot three. He's not particularly strong or quick, but he's not weak in either. He's got both aspects to his game. He can defend well and he can progress the ball nicely. A modern day sense back with a lot of ability and he's valued at about £5 million. There's going to be different valuations throughout this whole video, but he is someone that could be a star for your team. And speaking of stars, don't believe any of the star ratings that you're seeing here. In this save, I'm managing Man City. So these players are being compared to some of the best in the world, like Haaland, like De Bruyne. So ignore the star ratings, but what a talent he is. A centre back or even a left back with a lot of ability and someone that can grow to be a world-class centre-back. Having a pacey fullback that likes to get forward in Football Manager seems to be very effective over the last few years. And this player, Arnau Martinez, could be an excellent fit for that kind of description. He plays for Girona out in the Spanish divisions, valued at around £5 million or so in this save. He's got a few years left on his contract, but he loves to get forward and attack. He's quick, great balance, nice agility and pace. So he's going to bomb down that right. He's got great dribbling ability. He can cross and he's got nice first touch. He can also pass really well. And whilst his vision is lacking, he's got great tackling ability, great technique and work rate. He is the perfect modern day fullback that's going to bomb forward, get your team assists. And to be able to pick him up for such a cheap fee for this kind of player is incredible. You've got to think within three or four years, he is going to grow so much into a top tier right back. He's been at Girona all of his career, but it might be time for a new club. I think he's a phenomenal player. That pace makes him super effective in game and you'll often see him getting high average match ratings because of it. He won't hang around at Girona for long, so act quick, get him into your team and you won't regret it. Next, we have Italian centre-back Filippo Mane, who plays for Borussia Dortmund. He signed from the Italian divisions pretty recently, so you won't be able to get him straight away, but often a few years into your save, you'll be able to pick him up. In my Aberdeen save on my channel, he was someone that we were able to approach to sign on a free contract. He chose to go to a bigger club than us in the end, but he is someone that has a lot of ability. At 17, he's already got great physical attributes, and by the time he's 20, they're going to be really high and the physicals will be a big aspect of his game. He's also a great ball playing defender who can tackle well, defend well, and he's good in the air also. Everything you'd want from a young defender, he has. He's 17 with years to get better, but when he does develop, those physicals really will come into their own and it will make him really good in the in-game engine, both in terms of dominating in the air, outpacing the attackers and outstrengthing them if needed also. I did mention it a second ago, but to let you guys know, I do have my own channel linked in the description down below. After this video, I'd really appreciate it if you come on over to the channel, check out the content we've got. We've got a Let's Play series with Aberdeen, some one-off rebuild videos, and also some YouTube shorts about Wonder Kids you might not have heard of. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, I'm sure you'd enjoy the content. So head on over, even if it's just to hit the subscribe button, I'd massively appreciate it. But let's get back to our list. And we have another defender now. This one is Juan David Mosquera. He's signed from the Colombian divisions for MLS side Portland, where he is now on their books. And he's someone with a lot of potential in game. He's a bit older than some of the others that we We've looked at so he's kind of set in what kind of player he's going to be for you but with a little bit of development those physicals are going to be 
very strong. He's going to be a quick fullback. And whilst I don't think he's as good as Arnau Martinez that we looked at earlier, he's cheaper. He's going to be more readily available for some clubs. He's already an international as well. He's got a lot of ability and potential. And when he does start to grow, you'll see those physicals go through the roof. Even though it's suggesting wing back on defense here, I think when he's a little bit quicker, I'd be asking him to bomb forward to create some chances, get to the byline and pull it back for your attackers. I think Mosquera is a great talent and someone that you should definitely take a look at in that right back position. It's often hard to find good wonder kid fullbacks, but Mosquera and Martinez are two of the best. Moving into midfield now, and we have a bargain player by the name of Odin Thiago Holm, who plays for Valerenga, a team out in the Norwegian Premier Division. Now he is wanted here by some major clubs and you can see why. He's 19 with a lot of ability already. Physically, he's really strong. He can play central midfield or attacking midfield also. He's got technical ability. The mental game is there. He's got loads of player traits and he's someone that clearly has a bright future. He's been playing in Norway for a long time now and he has a lot of potential in your saves. But as you can see, you're going to have to act quick to get him before he joins one of these mega teams. But if you can get him, he is going to be a phenomenal player for you. To have that mix of technical attributes, but also really strong physicals, it's going to benefit him a lot, particularly that agility and that acceleration that's going to grow over time as well. By the time he's 21, 22, I genuinely believe he would be a great Premier League player, not just a good one, but a top level Premier League player. With some development, he could be top draw for you. He's got a great base set to build up from, a lot of attributes that you could desire he has, and then you can build up from there and turn him into a superstar. We're about halfway through the list now, but make sure you stick around till the end because I think the last player, the striker, is my favourite. Of course, a striker is going to be the favourite when they can score so many goals. But the player that we're focusing on for right now is Swiss 19-year-old Arden Jashari, who plays for Luzerne out in the Swiss divisions. Apologies if I've mispronounced anything there. What I love about him is, yes, he's a left-footed deep-line playmaker who can pass. He can shoot as well. He can dribble well. Decent long shots, nice first touch, and really well-rounded mental ability that's all great but then you get to his physicals where he might not be the quickest in the world but he is very strong and that's only going to grow over time he might only be five foot eleven but he's not going to shirk out of a challenge he's going to be strong and hold that defensive line for you well just in front of that defense being the player to link the midfield and those defenders he's got a lot of ability and if you needed to play him further forward it looks like he could do it with ease a very versatile player who i don't think gets enough credit for the kind of player he is like i say lots of potential with all of these and jashari is one of them that could become an elite level midfielder with some growth, with some development. So check him out, put a scout report on him. And if he looks good, he could be your new midfielder. One of the more well-known players on this list, but I had to point him out because we missed him out in the last overpowered players video. And a lot of people were saying, oh, he had to be in there. So I thought we'd bring him in. It's Facundo Farias, the Argentinian 19 year old who plays for Colón out in the Argentinian divisions. Now he is wanted by Newcastle and Dortmund here. And you can see why the reason that he is overpowered in game is those great technical attributes. All of these players that you've seen today will likely perform really well in the in-game engine should you put them in a good tactic. But in terms of ability right away, I think Farias is going to beat all of them. His technical ability will blow anyone away. He's great at passing with good vision and technique. He can hit a long shot. He can dribble like most players could dream of. He can finish well, good first touch, good crossing in corners, and he's only 19 here. Decent physical attributes and mental attributes as well. For only two or three million, he is an absolute bargain, and I can't believe he hasn't been picked up yet. But as you can see, a lot of interest, so you're going to have to act quick. But if you get him into your team, he's not one that you have to wait until he's ready to play. I genuinely think you could slot him into your first team, no matter what club you're playing with, and you just watch him develop and become a superstar in no time. Don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying up to this point, but we have an absolute bargain of a player, someone that's been getting a lot of attention in real life over the last few years and you can see there's a lot of interest in him in game also it's Mohamed Diamande one of the more well-known players in this list who plays for FC Norseland out in the Danish divisions now he is a gem of a midfielder who can play central midfield attacking midfield on the left or even at a push up front but this left-footed attacking midfielder is great for a bunch of reasons one he's got great attributes that you can see here but the other thing of course has to be his value to get this kind of player for two million pounds pounds or so three million pounds is crazy great physical attributes great mentals and technicals all around a great player do be aware with some of these players that attributes might fluctuate with diamonde 
Likely won't be the case because he's older, but with the younger players, their attributes when you load up a save can be completely different. Not just their potential ability, but actually the player that you see in front of you could be completely different, particularly with those young stars. But, but Diamande is one of those where you know exactly what you're going to get from him. A technically gifted midfielder who's got great mental attributes and great physicals. You can convert him into whatever you want him to be, whether that's a Mazala in the midfield or an advanced playmaker in the attacking midfield position or even off the left. He has got a lot of ability and someone that you could easily turn in to the star of your side. Final two players now. Before we get to my favorite player, we're going to look at Matthias Franke, who is one that was requested by so many people when we did this before. About three months ago, we did a video called The Most Overpowered Wonder Kids in FM23, and we focused on the hidden attributes that you can't see as much under the surface. Today's one is a bit more of combining everything from on-field talent to potential ability to hidden attributes as well. The kind of players that you can just always guarantee really are going to be stars for you. Matthias Franke is one of them. Yes, he starts off injured, but for about £8 million, if you scout him, eventually you might be able to pick him up. He's in the Brazilian divisions playing for FLA, or if you have the name fix on, that'll be Flamengo. And he is a very good midfielder, technically gifted, mentals are there and the physicals. I put Andre Santos in the last video and a lot of people were saying Matthias Franca is the better option and what I definitely can't deny is the ability that this player has he's so talented for such a young player 18 years of age and you can see exactly where his career is heading a great passer of the ball good first touch and dribbling nice physicals and mentals he could be a real gem of a midfielder he's pretty much guaranteed to be in that Brazil national team with a bit of growth so scout him get him into your team and before you know it you will have a Brazilian midfielder tearing it up for your side but if you're talking Talking about a player that's going to be really overpowered in the in-game engine, then Yusuf Shermiti of Sporting Club de Portugal out in the Portuguese divisions is someone that really fits that bill. He's been at the club for a while. He's valued at about £2 million in this save. But what I love about him is, yes, look, his technicals are okay. He can finish. That's fine. Same with his mentals. They're okay in some areas, bad in some others. He needs work. He's only 18. But this guy is six foot four. He's got great jumping reach. He's fairly quick and fairly strong. And you can guarantee by the time this player is 20, 21, if you develop him right, most of these physical attributes are going to be 15s or higher. He's going to be a physical beast. And if you know anything about FM in recent years, it's these quick, strong, tall players that seem to be really effective in game. Combine all three and Shimiti here is going to be a massive threat. I can't believe I haven't really spoke about him before. I feel like he needs a wonder kid to superstar on him at some point soon where we show just how good he could be over 10 years or so. But he's a great player with a lot of potential and one that I definitely suggest you check out in your save if you haven't already. But there you go. There's a team of overpowered wonder kids for you to check out in FM20 free let me know down in the comments who you would have had in the team and smash the like button for us if you enjoy if you want to check out my channel linked in the description and subscribe over there i'd massively appreciate it but most of all have a great day everyone and i'll see you next time thank you and goodbye